Hey guys, so today I want to show you this Minecraft portable. Um, it works pretty good, but you still need Java for it. But anyways, I'm just going to show you how you can put it on a CD, whatever. So for this, you'll need to download it. Link for this is in the description with WinWar. And anyways, so what you need to also do is you need to have um, Windows 7. So you can have a feature where you can make it, you can still add stuff to, to, to a CD. Um, minus. Anyways, so, um, download the file. I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to re-download it. Here it is. Anyways, so now insert a blank disk. I'm going to pause till it pops up, so I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so I'm back with it, and you're, here's where you're going to click. You're going to click, burn files to disk. And this will pop up. Burn a disk. So I'm calling it Minecraft. And click use this option do not select this and click next and I'll be back because this takes a little bit of time so once it finishes this will pop up um, now click open folder to view files and then this will pop up what you're going to do with this is you're going to copy minecraft portable folder drag it or just copy paste it and now with Renoir, um, you're going to need to actually extract here. But I usually click this one so it can create a folder for it. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, sorry about that. Anyway, so now what you're going to do is actually going to open it up. And you'll see this folder pop up. But if you wait a little longer, it'll be um the window that pops up. So I got a slow computer, so I'm gonna Okay, so now you're just going to log in. And I'm gonna pause because I don't like people seeing how I type in my information. I'm not giving out my user. Okay, then you'll get the screen. Once it finishes, you should have it pop up. And mine just froze. So if you can hold on a moment we go and it's totally reinstalling it so you're going to need to make a copy of all your saves to it and I'm going to show you how you do that okay so in here you want to open up your mcp under slash data and you should already know how to install mods and so forth but it's just right in the minecraft folder you see and then, um texture packs you can do everything like a normal um one so pretty nice, I like it, I can use it at my library so I have something to do, because I don't think I can download it and use everything, but it's pretty good, I like it, anyways, thanks for